my Mercedes. Uh, Hold four in the back, two of the fat. Keep it. What's going on, Power Squad? Will Power here, and I'm with. What's up, guys? It's Ethan Crow. You already know. The best real estate wholesaler in Atlanta. Not even flexing. Got to put up the Tate stance. Free Andrew Tate. The goats. The goats. The goats. It takes a goat to know a goat. I don't think he actually uh, did all the, the, the human traffic. Of course not, bro. But Small minded people are looking at him and nitpicking. But, uh, big minded people are seeing the big picture. What's going on? Censorship. Yeah, for real. Big and, brother. Uh, you know, some some things that honestly I actually agree with everything he says. I can't say that something that's yeah, that he says. I agree with everything. Yeah, I don't think he's a womanizer. At all. Okay. So anyways, all all bullshit aside. This morning, hitting some cold calls up. Uh got two walkthroughs to do. We've been doing you know, getting an average a decent decent average of walkthroughs, so a decent decent average of of uh, leads, I guess you could say, a decent amount of leads a week. So we just met with the first seller. He wasn't too fond of like us recording, which is fine. Filming, I totally understand. So he was gonna shot. let us. Yeah, I wouldn't say that he's camera shy because we weren't gonna put him on there, but he was gonna let us film. But he just kind of kept saying like, "Oh, you know, I got shit everywhere. You know, I don't know if you guys want to film." So. I kind of just read him. And it was all good. I told him, no, nah, it's fine. So we don't got to film. So we didn't get that house on film, but we went and walked it. And it's going to be one of the first properties that we had to deal that we're going to have to deal with, with a title issue. Title issue has tax issues and lien issues. So uh, we're going to go and try and figure that out. I'm going to ask Zach and Rick today about how to, you know, get that figured out and how to go about that. Hopefully I can join the live. What the fuck? I thought that was try on a scooter. <laughs> beep beep. <laughs> um, we're gonna set up a, a meeting with the the title company, and I'm also gonna ask the the free soul wholesaling dot you know little Facebook group. But now we're going to another property that we actually talked to the neighbor and a demolition contractor yesterday, as you guys saw in the video. I'm gonna go and check that out. And, you know, Will's gonna tell me what work is needed and we're gonna go from there. But how did that come about? You spoke with the owner and they told us to go walk it, what happened? So, first I spoke we with- We saw the, the house yesterday, the contractor was there. We spoke to him. We got the information, are you skip trace or what? Yeah, so the contractor wasn't able to give out the information, he didn't know. A buddy of his sent him that house. And then the the neighbor came out and uh, I guess thought I was uh, trying to rob the, the place or something. I don't know. He's like, can I help you? Blah, blah, blah. A lot of action around here today, huh? So I told him to send me the information. He didn't want to send me the information. I ain't selling you nothing. So he sent my information to the seller. Seller never answered. You need to go on and do that. Hey, and I ain't selling him shit. You better make that money. Hurry up. Este, piquita de manoto, me dice que le ven esto, madera esto, piquita de neto. But I went ahead and I skip traced it today, and I shot the the seller a call. Oh, she nice. answered. Damn. And now we are here. Another day, another dollar. Yeah. Little tip of the day for you guys. So as you guys know, we had uh, that fire damage property and this uh, the, the house that we took to hell to see our first, our second ride along. So uh, this is the first time I've ever heard of something happening like this, but the, the, the seller wanted his earnest money deposit up, up front. I was going to go and sign the contracts for both properties with him yesterday and I hopped on the phone and he was very, he really emphasized that he wanted his earnest money deposit. Show me the money. Like every time we spoke on the phone, yeah, you're going to have the earnest money, right? And I was like, he wanted a cash. Yeah. 
And I saw red flag, red flag. I never picked up on it, but he knew the whole time. He yeah, and the waited. whole conversation, like I said, Ethan gets on the conversation on the phone, on speaker, and I'm listening while I'm doing the marketing. And I can hear the guy kept on emphasizing on the earnest money and when he's going to get the earnest money, da, da, da. And then later on in the conversations, he was asking the cash, cash. Yeah, so he picked up on it, but he just went ahead and just let me fuck kind of learn. Yeah, a little like he asked me, he's like, ah, is that why you weren't so excited? I was like, yeah, I knew this guy was felt <laughs> a little shady. I was just letting you go and see where it went. Yeah, so I, I was gonna go and sign the contract with him, and yeah, he wanted last night to go meet up, and he's like, yeah, bring the cash, whatever. All he cared about was the cash. That's why I found something shady there. Yeah, he told me on the phone. He was like, yeah, you're gonna have the cash. I was like, the earnest money deposit? He was like, yeah, you're going to have that, right? And I was like, no, sir, it doesn't work that way. It goes to the title company. And then right after that, he was like, oh, sorry for wasting your time and hung up the phone. Homie, don't play that. So who knows if that was even the, the real owner of the property? I don't think so. And who knows if he was trying to scam? Homie, don't play that. You know, best of luck to him to selling the property. He said he needs the money for retirement. So I'll text him in a month and see how it's going. But no one's gonna, no one's gonna give him five thousand dollars up front when signing the contract. That just doesn't make sense. And that's an insane amount for for earnest money deposit. Anyways, we're not realtors because the realtors work off of a percentage of the the buy price for the EMD, and we don't do that. You only really want to put like a hundred bucks on, on the on an EMD just just to show the seller that you're serious serious to purchase the property and it can actually help you out in the future for legal ways. I seen a video on Zach's channel about filling out the contract and he said that a, uh, another wholesaler tried to step in and steal his deal and the wholesaler was not able to steal his deal because Zach put a EMD on the contract and it was only a hundred dollars so well yeah that's just a little tip i guess i'm pretty sure that's logical right mm -hmm. don't give the seller their earnest money up front but learning as we go yeah so we lost two properties there's kind of shitty a day yesterday after hearing that but it is what it is we're still ripped we're just just waiting on the rich part new car coming soon all right, what's going on, Power Squad? And we're out here walking this property that we came across yesterday driving for dollars. Ethan reached out to the neighbor, um, asked for the information. He said the owner was going to, what was it? That he was going to reach out to the owner. He never did. We skipped trace, and Ethan reached out to the owner, and we got it. Yeah, I'm going to just walk like this. Yeah, most definitely. So we're here, man. We're going to try and save it. <laughs> but... but you know, this neighborhood is some money. Yesterday when we were driving, man, we came across a lot of houses. And I mean like a lot of like big money houses, you know, like million dollars. This one house that we that we passed, actually that realtor that I spoke with, he had he sold that lot for um like four hundred something thousand dollars. So we're looking here in the low three hundreds for this property. But um yeah, man. We're going to try to get in the inside, too, and see what the fuck is up. I can see that the bathroom is still intact. <laughs> but, you know, one thing I love about, you know, what I do is we get to come and just explore these these, these houses, man. And it's always different. So, and I get paid to do it. So, sick, man. Yeah. If we can get this at the, at the right price, you guys already know we're going to... Keep it up. Two scoops. Looks like they have a nice backyard going on here. For real. And uh, yo, in, in the Watch comments. Watch the nails. In the comments below, you guys go ahead, you know, and, and let me know if there's any abandoned places in Atlanta uh, that we can go and kind of goof off and walk. Just one day that we get bored. They started doing some framing. This new frame. I guess this is the master down here. Ooh, they got some nice books. <laughs> nice. Probably waterlogged. Yeah, look at the floor, how huh? I got waterlogged. 
Oh shit, this kind of looks like Amy's house. Yeah, it does. Is this any of this tile savable or? No, that all has nah, to go. it's all fucked. Sheesh! Oh shit. So this, that was the basement. Okay, you got some water out here if you need to get some water, Mr. <laughs> Yep, so it was definitely a full gut. So now, Mr. Power, where my question was for you, man. So it's crazy how the bathrooms are still intact. What's so up? I'll come over here and I'll ask it. So on this area where it's all fucked up, am I going to have to price that as an addition? No. What am I going to price it as? It's just like a rehab. It's just the regular square footage. Just the regular square footage mm -hmm. as a full gut? Mm-hmm. And I don't have to do the addition, even though we have to do framing and foundation. No. All right, sounds good with me. That changes the price a lot, dude. I got this fucking. What's pink, the square footage? Pink shit. It's uh two thousand, uh two thousand two hundred square foot. Twenty two hundred. I'll do it by like sixty or seventy a square foot. I'll do seventy five. Yo, this would be a cool picture. Can you come take take a flick of me over here? For the gang. Probably be badass. Alright. So we're back. I'm doing a little voiceover. Because you know I'm the fucking good. <laughs> and I'm feeling talkative today. Uh, maybe it was the prayers that I sent to God. But he put me in good mood today. Maybe it was a meditation. Oh shit. Let's check this out. Will. What? Oh it's just the garage. Never mind. Oh, it looks like it's the outdoor patio. Nice. Sick. Oh, well, that's the pool. This probably on. raises the value, I'd say, on it for sure. Yeah, they were going to... Dude, he was, he was telling me that he, they're going to demo all of this. Like, they're going to take the pool away, too. And I was like, no, not the pool. To say Merry Christmas to you. Why don't you price the square footage here as an addition? Because we're not doing an addition. Right, but don't you need foundation and framing? Nope. Framing will be part of the rehab. Hey, Will, look at here. Bro, I hope the neighbor doesn't get fucking all pissed. Let me take you higher. What? We can take you higher. Fuck all that shit. I'm not coming up there. Well, what are you going to say when he asks? And I hope the audio is not getting fucked up. What are you going to say when he asks you what the fuck you're doing up there? Checking out my fucking investment. <laughs> <laughs> he said if he falls, put it on film. <laughs> Funny guy. Always got the jokes, man. <laughs> Anything for the views, man. Dude, one day we're going to have thousands of views. It's going to feel so good. Mm -hmm. All right, Power Squad. So we're leaving this property right here. We just did a little walkthrough. Had some fun on it. Had some fun. Climbed on the roof. He did. Not so me. we're heading back to the crib now. Yep. That was all we had to do today. Now we get back to cold. Ethan Crow, I can sell your house and I can give you a baby. <laughs> what's going on power squad so we're back at it again ethan got a call for this house that we did driving for dollars yesterday and we're out here what walking it is up youtube oh shit this shit dark dark check it out check it out oh damn damn the ceilings are low oh yeah there's a basement down there Floor issue right here, boom. Oh, yeah, this is a full rehab. $75 a square foot. Yep. Yeah. Some good art. Oh, that's cool. 
get some thick. Going down to the spooky wookie basement. Who's your number one contractor for rehab flips? Willpower, my man. His willpower and his discipline that's allowed him, his smarts has allowed him to earn that money, or he just got lucky as fuck. Hmm, gotta do some waterproofing here, this mud. Oh, yeah. What the fuck? What was this supposed to be? Bathroom here. We got a bathroom here. Oh, what the fuck was this supposed to be? Yeah, New driveway. No fucking way. <laughs> you know we would have been popping them shits. <laughs> New driveway. This tree has to be removed. Oh, oh.